CBS News and KDK are committed to reporting on the Earth and our environment all year long, but especially this week leading up to Earth Day on Friday. All this week on KDK News at 5, we're taking a look at our changing climate and the impact it's having on all of us. Yeah, one of the biggest areas of concern involves the risk of more severe weather happening more often. KDK meteorologist Kristen Emery joins us with a look at what we're seeing out there, the increasing extreme weather here in southwestern Pennsylvania, or if it just seems that way. Kristen. It definitely have had a lot of those events this past year. Tornadoes in October, record snow days in March, and frequent flooding downpours. Severe weather for sure, but is it extreme? Well, that depends on your definition of extreme. So it's in a tornado emergency like Mayfield, Kentucky is a <clears throat> derecho that kind of went through in 2012 across Ohio and West Virginia. It's back to back tropical systems that happened in 2004 across Western Pennsylvania. And then you could also you know, talk about, you know, Snowmageddon or the Superstorm in 1993. When it comes to extreme weather events, are we actually seeing more of them here in Western Pennsylvania in recent years or are they just better documented now? Going back for Pittsburgh specifically, so in the last six years, we've had three precipitation events that have exceeded three inches of rain in one hour. Now, for the previous 40 years, we only had three of those. First, let's talk about the most recent extreme event we've seen. In March, we set two single day snowfall records, and the month came in as the snowiest March since 1993. Yet, last month overall averaged three degrees warmer than normal. So this is where kind of you can lose things in statistics, right? So you have these days that are in the mid 60s and you know popping near 70, a handful of days throughout the month, and those kind of weigh out the cold days. So you really have to kind of dig into the numbers to kind of really see the impacts of climate. And most, like you said, most of our snow happened on two days. Now to flooding. Stronger and more frequent tropical systems can and often do impact our region. Late last summer, Hurricane Ida made landfall in New Orleans, but caused greater damage from Philadelphia to New York, and along the way, dropped six to seven inches of rain across Pennsylvania during the early days of September. When we see tropical systems in September, we can never take solace that, okay, well, they're going to make landfall in the south, they will weaken, and they won't cause any impacts to us, when really, they have significant impacts in, in historical references that we reference, like Hurricane Ivan, Trump, uh, with Francis, and so, you know, and then also Hurricane Agnes. Finally, tornadoes. We've certainly had our fair share over the years, but last October, we saw 21 documented tornadoes in one day across western Pennsylvania, eastern Ohio, and northern West Virginia. By comparison, there were only 11 October tornadoes in the same area from 1950 to 2020. That's 11 tornadoes in 70 years versus 21 in one day. So we had a busy October of 2021. We did a survey in January of 2019 in Mercer County. We did a tornado survey, the first one ever recorded in February in Uniontown in 2018. So we've been having these tornadoes outside our peak window, which is usually runs May through May through early part of July. The takeaway, it does appear Western Pennsylvania's severe weather patterns are changing, although slightly, and it means we can't let our guard down for severe weather at any time during the year. Just because we're in a month when we normally don't see tornadoes, record breaking snowfall or tropical storm flooding. Ken and Kim.